had my daughter, um, I was 30, so you would think I know what I'm doing, and I figured we have our lives together, we have our careers, our home, um, that it, this would just be a, a fun addition to our household. And I was wrong. It was just one of the hardest things I've ever experienced was actually becoming a mom. My name is Ty Ann, and I am a mental health therapist. Uh, I'm super passionate about helping moms uh, overcome postpartum depression and anxiety. And I'm also a mom of a two and a half year old. And I think my journey through my own struggle with postpartum depression and anxiety has really ignited a fire in me to just help spread the word about postpartum depression and anxiety and help others overcome it as well. Being told by society, you know, like it's the best time, it's gonna bring so much joy to your life. And I think we've really romanticized motherhood and we give the message that um, you'll just automatically fall in love and it's the best experience and so when I didn't feel those things immediately because I was just really exhausted and I had a lot of blood loss I was just feeling really dizzy and um, was just feeling more anxious than immediately connected I thought well there's something wrong with me for not immediately bonding with her and feeling like this is the happiest experience not only did my doctor not prepare me for it or even mentioned anything about mental health or mental health struggles after having a baby, um, but it it just felt like I was hit by a train, like no, nothing could have prepared me for that. You know, with depressive symptoms, the loss of self-esteem and the hopelessness and the tearfulness and just not feeling like myself, but. The anxiety I felt like was just even more terrifying, uh, which was just like not being able to rest. Like my mind just kept racing of all the worst things that could happen. Like I just thought like, okay, she's gonna have failure to thrive. She's not eating enough. Um, all of just the fears of like, she's gonna die and this is gonna be the most shameful experience that um, I couldn't even raise my baby. Guilt and shame, I think, was a big, big part of it, too. On not being able to um, engage with her the way that I should or that I was supposed to. I truly felt like I was the worst mom in the world and everyone is doing this better than I am. And I really believe that to the point where um, one day I had asked my mom to take my baby. Like, if she would care for her, I'll, I'll help her pay for um, whatever she needed. And that really scared her because I was serious. So those symptoms, along with just the loss of um, pleasure in life, and just really, f I, I just knew I wasn't myself. There was just kind of a haze. Even though I was a therapist already in practice for seven years, and I knew postpartum depression anxiety existed, I just never really thought it happened to me. And I I think um, that's true for, for all of us. Like, we know it exists, but we don't really plan for it to happen to us. And so I really didn't expect any of it. I've always loved kids, so I really thought it was really going to be like the vision of what we're told motherhood was going to be like. I thought it was going to be joyous and happy. So symptoms I really didn't expect were just feeling so down and crying so regularly. I didn't expect feeling so discouraged and hopeless that I would pray to not wake up. That was an experience I've never had before in my entire life, so that's still painful to talk about now. But. Middle of the night, being terrified of the breastfeeding, how painful it was. Am I going to be able to soothe her when I can't feed her? And I just thought 
it would be nice to not wake up. While at the moment, I wish I could erase all of it and just go back to my old life, I'm so grateful for this experience and to have just a much deeper understanding of depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. And I really feel like I've healed by pulling um, just a lot of gifts from my suffering. And the gifts that I've pulled are that um, to, to normalize these experiences, to connect with the women that I, I care for now, that the women that I treat, and to really be a voice to shed the stigma around these struggles of motherhood, um, whether it's depression or not, all moms are gonna have some of these feelings and experiences to some extent. And um, it's been such a journey that I'm really grateful for, that it's, it's led me to where I am today, that I can work with moms every day and they really inspire me. And I see their love for their babies drive them to get better and drive them to do the hard work that they do. And I just want to take that back for the world. The message that I really want people to know is that it's okay to not feel all those things. It's okay to not be perfect and to be super mom. And that it's actually healthy and it's human to get in touch with our sadness around this and our grief around this and yes it's gonna feel lonely at times and sometimes we're gonna feel angry at our baby and our spouses and all of that is normal and okay as we learn to adjust to this completely life-changing new role um, that's gonna shake up our whole world it's okay to feel some of those things